Moving average is one of the most common trading indicator that we all use. But in this video, we're going to talk about some basics of moving average and some tricks and tips that can increase your win rate in your trading strategies. So let's start from the basics. If you know me from the chat room, you know that I approach trading in an engineering way. So this is how a moving average works. This is a chart that on the X axis, there's the time frame, which can be one minute, 30 minutes or anything. And on the Y axis, the price. So this is a random stock price chart. And on this chart, we're going to add the five period SMA line. Calculating an average is very simple. Imagine you have a class and you want the average grade of the class. You simply take all the grades and you divide by the number of students. It's the same thing in simple moving average lines. So for the five period SMA line, we need to calculate the average price of the last five candles. Since it's five period SMA line, we divide by five and we start adding the values. So at the fourth minute, the price was eight. At three, it was four. At two, it was six. For one, three. And for zero, we had two. So the value we get is 4.6. So 4.6 is the first dot for the five period moving average line. I made another calculation at seven and at that time I got 7.2. If we do the same thing for each time, we'll get a straight line, which is the five period SMA line. So the same thing applies for other moving average. For example, for 10 moving average, we calculate the average of the last 10 candles for 200, the last 200 candles and so on. As you saw, in simple moving average, we gave the same weight for each price. As you can see here, at 2, 3, 6, 4, and 8, we are giving exactly the same weight for each price at a specific time. But for an exponential moving average, we give more weight to the current price of the stock. This is the formula if you're interested. You don't need to understand in details how the formula works. But you simply need to understand that it only takes the value of the previous candle to tell you the value of the current candle. However, in simple moving average, as we explained previously, because it's an average, we take the average of the last candles. This is a chart example how it reacts more to the current price. As you can see here, it reacted more to the current price. I use moving average to catch momentum and to let my winners run. And I'm going to explain you in details how. All the examples that I'm going to give, they are from my buy alerts and it's proven that it works. The first example that I'm going to give is on Tesla. The first buy alert that I got in in Tesla was close to 200 moving average, so my entry was around this area. I kept the space to average down. So as you see, Tesla had a great momentum. So the best buying opportunity for us is at pullbacks. And where's those pullback levels? I like to buy close to 200 moving average. This is the first example on Tesla. I made around 10 to 20% profit from the first trade. And now I got in again, which is again close to 200 moving average. And I expect a bounce back to this level, which I'm going to take profit. Here's another example on ice. I'm going to show you how I waited perfectly for ice to drop to 200 moving average before buying. And it happened exactly as we wanted. So as soon as it dropped, I had an alert. I got in and currently started bouncing back from that level. My target will be around 120 to 130. And how can you let your winners run? It's using moving average again. I'm going to give you one more example on catching momentum using 200 moving average. And after that, I'm going to explain you how you can let your winners run using moving average. The same thing I did on IBKR and Workday. This is what happened. This is interactive brokers trade. We got in this area and started bouncing back. And same thing on workday. We got in around close to 200 moving average and started to bounce back. This is another example on Twitter. I waited very patiently to drop around 200 moving average before getting in. And check what happened. 
Twitter dropped to this level. I waited very patiently. I did not get in this level. And I expect a bounce back from here. So this is how I use to catch momentum on good stocks. It's a very good strategy for bounce back plays. And the last way that I use moving average is to let my winners run. This is an example on Twitter. I'm just going to give you two examples because you'll directly understand my point. So I bought Twitter around $45, the green zone, and I had a target around 50, which is already 11 to 12% profit. But before closing my position, the best way that you can let your winners run was to use the nine exponential moving average. And you just close your position when the price closes below 9 exponential moving average. In this case, you would sell Twitter at $73, this area, be because it closes below 9 exponential moving average. And instead of making just 15% profit, 10% profit, I could make around 60%, which is 6 times more than my original profit. So if you let your winners run, it's a great way to increase your risk reward ratios. Another example is on Facebook. So I bought when it was the risk level and my target range was around 278. Instead of selling directly here, I can let my winners run using the 9 exponential average. Unfortunately, in this trade, when it crossed below 9 exponential moving average, it made the quick bounce back. So in this case, you can't do anything. Trading is a game of probability. The more you increase your win rate and the more you let your winners run, it, that means the more you increase your reward comparing to your risk, that's how you're going to win more. So hopefully with this ways, you can increase your risk reward ratios and wait patiently for better buying opportunities. If you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe. See you in the next video.